Championship quarterback Cardale Jones has his sights set on another trophy, but to do so, he needs to get D.C. to bounce back. They're in Tampa to take on these wild fans of the Tampa Bay Vipers. This is the progressive countdown to kickoff as D.C. and Tampa Bay go head-to-head. Five-man rush, Cornelius to try to scramble with it, and he uses his legs for a first down. Pick up a 12. Hurry, hurry! A little more pressure, they answer it with a run, and a big first down for Patrick. Finally up in and inside the 20, a gain of 17. get to a second long situation defense is thinking they're going to throw a pass it's a really good play call catches it catch him sleeping get it up the field one redirect Jalen Tolliver a run straight ahead Temple paying off for Tampa Bay and a surge into the end zone touchdown Jaquez Patrick from eight yards out Hurry, hurry! Third. Again to the ground game, and again it works. This time it's Davion Smith for rushing yards. NASCAR, NASCAR, third. We're not yet out of the first quarter. Ball on the ground, scooped up by the Vipers, Jacquez Patrick, and he's going to make something happen. Patrick inside the five. <laughs> when it's going well, you have situations like this. When you're going through those first three games, when you're losing games, these are the kind of plays where you lose the ball and it creates a turnover. Because this offense has a lot of confidence in this particular game with their ability to run the ball. It Pressure coming again, safety blitz, a lob to the middle of the field and DeAndre Goolsby with the touchdown for Tampa Bay. One way to beat the blitz. Cornelius finds his running back, but he's taken down by Matt Elam already. The eighth tackle of the game for Elam. Sides, but move quickly and bring pressure. Now one defensive lineman weighs more than 300 pounds. Here's Pumphrey again on the swing pass. He's got great speed and another DC first down. And they block it. Everything's coming up Vipers tonight. And Tampa Bay is going to have fantastic field position. We've got a flag afterwards back at the 30-yard line. Carson. Go, 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 go. This is Goolsby, the tight end again. Plenty of leg. And he drills it. Carson. Daniel Williams trying to make people miss. Reverses field. And he sprints through everybody. Daniel Williams looking for a block. What an amazing run into D.C. territory. The East St. Louis product picks up 38. This Tampa offense is playing with so much confidence right now. Even a broken play because of the hustle. You make a couple guys miss, and when you come back across, because the defense is all chasing the ball, now your offensive lineman getting downfield, you get a couple receiver blocks, and all of a sudden, you're on the 32-yard line. Defense. Pressure coming. They got in the backfield, but Jacquez Patrick ran right past him. And a nice cut up field for a first down run. He's made from 40, this from 31. And it's wide right. This opportunity for Tampa Bay to start the second half. Big play. Hurry, hurry, set. Play action. Looking for the deep ball. We go to the deep crossing route, and it's Jalen Tolliver for the first down. Pick up of 22. So the X pylon, X comes in, goes to the goes to the deep pylon, and then the spear is coming across. Safety is cleared out with the X. Cornelius makes a beautiful read, take the spear route coming across the field for a huge game. Hurry, hurry, 
Rivers! Pump fake, looking deep. There's another lob. It is intercepted! Picked up at the goal line by Raheem Moore, and D.C. finally gets their first takeaway. Raheem Moore had the first pick in XFL history. Now he's got his second of the season. And this is just a late read by Cornelius. Offensively, they're getting back to the pass game, which getting away from the run game hasn't been good this season for this team. This is just a late read, throws this ball up. Cardell Jones facing pressure, gets hit as he throws. Jump ball, and it's taken back by Tampa Bay. Tavares McFadden with the interception. We got a flag back in the coverage. Bobby Richardson delivered a hit to Cardell. Might be a premature celebration. Thirty-seven. They should have it. Where they got? Fifteen. Personal foul. Face mask. Number fifteen of the offense. Fifteen-yard penalty added to the end of the run. First down. So Tavares McFadden's interception stands. And this was the problem last week for this D.C. offense. They take their shot pressure in the end zone. And this is just a jump ball. Now, not the throw you want to make, but honestly, as a receiver, you have to break this up. You cannot allow the defensive back to just simply jump up and catch this ball. If On third and four, pressure up the middle. Cornelius will take off with it. To the five, to the goal line. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Taylor Cornelius took a shot at the end of that run. Man-to-man -man coverage by D.C. They're trying to find a way to bring pressure to Cornelius. Does a nice job realizing all the defensive backs back are to him. So when he sees his gap, takes off running, takes a huge hit to get this ball in the end zone. There's the hit. <laughs> Thanks. Jaquez Patrick and Tanner McAvoy in the backfield. McAvoy will take it. He wants to throw it. Nope, he'll keep it himself. And he gets stuck at the one. Here's Daniel Williams, and he picks up a first down for Tampa Bay. We've got really seems like those defensive play calls are coming in late for DC. What a catch off the bobble. Colin Thompson scoops it up. Vipers playing with the house money. This is probably the third play we've seen tonight where it's been a broken play, something's gone wrong. Now all of a sudden, something's gone right. Punter Jake Shamas is holding. So Tampa Bay leads 25-0 with 10-12 to go in the fourth quarter. Rip, 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 all the way out to 45. Hurry, hurry, let's go. Pressure. Cardell Jones heaves it downfield and incomplete. He had Rashad Ross open. Both the DC center. Waka runs right past him. And Cardell Jones goes down. First sack of the night for Tampa Bay. Here's Davion Smith. To work and fix our issues. They tried to do that this week. It didn't work out. Davion Smith with another physical carry. He's over 100 yards. Patrick went over 100 yards. Two 100-yard rushers tonight for Tampa Bay. Mark Tressman's team going to find their first win after a frustrating start to the season. Relief on the Tampa Bay sideline. They go to L.A. next week. In the second half, the D.C. defenders ran 17 plays, found 28 yards. Back-to-back -back losses for Pep Hamilton's squad. 
Only nine points over the last two weeks. Great game for Taylor Cornelius. He leads the Vipers to their.